So this is a fairly complicated application optimization problem where the function we end up with is going to be a rational function. So let's look at it. The length of a box is 3 times the width. Volume must be 80 cubic feet. What are the dimensions of the box that give the minimum surface area? Well, we need to draw the box first. And we know that the length is 3 times the width, if this is the width. And we don't know what the height is, so we're just going to call that h. And then we need to make sure, once we have the picture drawn, that we are wanting to minimize surface area. And that's going to be our focus. We need to realize that there's six different sides. There's the bottom, down here. That area is 3w times w, right? 3w times w. There's this side, w times h, the right side. Then we have the front. That's 3w times h right here. And then we have, of course, the top again, which is just the exact same as the bottom. The left-hand side, that's the left-hand side, and the very back would be 3wh. That would be the surface area. And when we simplify all that, we will combine the 3w squared with the other 3w squared to get 6w squared, and then we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8wh. But this has two variables, so we need to find our constraint, and that's going to come from the volume. They tell us that the volume is 80 cubic feet, and volume is just length times width times height. So we end up with that formula in green. Solving for h, we get 80 over 3w squared, and now we can just go ahead and plug it back into our surface area equation. And that simplifies to 6w squared plus 640 over 3w. The 640 came from the 8 times 80. And of course, one of these w's canceled one of the w's in the denominator. All right, let's make it prettier. So this is our focus. Notice we have one variable. We still have our constraint here just for reference, even though we're not using it right now. And we need to plug this into our calculator. Notice, though, that we're going to be treating x as w, and the y is the surface area. That's really important to know. And even before we graph it in our calculator, we have to think about what window makes sense. If x is width, it can't be negative, which means I've got a 0 x min. That's the smallest it could be. The x max is a little bit harder to figure out in terms of what's the best answer. Just don't make it ridiculous. 1 is probably too small. 1,000 is probably too big. I'm just starting at 10. And y is the surface area, so y min is 0 because surface area can't be negative, and I just thought that a maximum of 300 is about right. That's something you can play with. But when we use this window and graph it, we end up with this lovely thing, and I already found the minimum. So I have part of the answer to my question. It's going to be a w is 2.61 feet, right? x is 2.61, but x is actually w. And then we plug this into constraint. If we plug w in here, we get our height. And of course, the length is 3 times the width, so the length is 7.83 feet. And that was the question, what are the dimensions of the box? And we're done with the problem. By the way, we didn't get asked about the minimum service area, but the calculator tells us that it's 122.61 square feet. So if that was the question, it's sitting there in the calculator. And that's it.